Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life, and today's Toy Dojo sponsored review is going to cover Professor Heisenberg's King's Claw add on kit for the Feral Rex, as well as Professor Heisenberg's Royal Arsenal add on weapons kit for Feral Rex. So, again, both of these are add ons for the Mastermind Creations Feral Rex set. They're um, Predaking and Predacons. But they do come in two separate sets. So the weapons down here are the weapons add-on kit. And they are typically sold separately from the claws that we see in the back here. And these two fists, uh, hands here, are from the Feral Rex set. Okay? So we're going to do a quick installation of the claws first, as well as review, and then move on to the weapons. So for now, let's get these weapons out of the way. And focus in on these uh, claws. So you, you all might remember that I did a similar, a review for a similar set from the Guild of Concoctionist Intense or um, uh, Dr. Killinger and Megatron 31 previously. And so these are basically the same idea. They want to make the stock hands from Feral Rex, which um, look like this, very squared off. Um, they want to add claws, like sharpness, to them to make them look more feral or animal-like. So they both serve the same purpose. They approach them different ways. So this set is, is um, from Professor Heisenberg's, very easy to install. All they are are small plastic pieces that clip on. And so this piece is the thumb, thumb cover piece. Basically, uh, you can tell which side goes to the back because there's a small cutout here. You just come up here to the very forefront of the, uh, the very back of the thumb and just press that down. That's it. Similarly, you're going to go grab the first one. And these were, uh, I got these loose, even though these are final, I got them loose. So I'm not sure what the packaging is going to look like. Um, but they're really easy to determine which ones go on uh, which fingers. So this one goes on the thumb and just slides on from the side. And there we are with the thumb. The forefinger, the same thing. Just slide that straight on. Move this down out of the way. Get the middle finger one on. Oops, this piece fell off. Move this one out of the way, go on to the ring finger, and then lastly, the pinky finger. And they just slide on like that. Oops, sorry, that one didn't install all the way. And that's it. I mean, that took definitely less than a minute. If I was rushing through it or wasn't shooting a video on it, it would have taken just uh, under, probably under a minute, 30 seconds or so. And this is what they look like. They don't really hinder um, the articulation. Just a tiny bit on the thumb, just because um, they, they have to, they have to um, go around the joint. And this one goes right up against the joint. So you might lose a little bit of articulation, but not a whole lot. But they look really good. Um, the downside being is because they slide on, is that you can still see the original finger from the side here. But from the back and from the front, you really can't tell. And they look really good. I think they're, they're a nice addition. I like how they added this thumb piece as well to make it a little bit thicker. Because without it, it would look a little, a little weird. So I'm glad they went the extra mile to go ahead and add that to the set as well. So let's go ahead and install the other side, again very quickly, remember this um, beveled edge goes to the back of the thumb, just push that straight on, thumb, pointer, middle, ring, and then pinky I'm just going to go from the back just because it makes it easy. And once again, in just a few seconds, we have both sets installed. Very simple, very nice. Um, as far as the review for these guys, uh, I do like them. Um, when I first saw these, I was like, oh, I like these better than 
the guilds, CGI's um, set, but it, it really actually depends on what you're going for. So for this, uh, I like them because they're bigger, they look more menacing because they are thicker, and I'll actually bring in the guilds hand here. So on this side you can see, the, on the right hand, this is the guilds add-on set, which replaced the whole section here. You remove the pins on each of these fingers, as well as on the thumb, and actually replace them with uh, the guild set. So they look, do look different. The, the King's Claw set is obviously bigger, they're longer, um, but they look very similar overall. And it really depends on the look and also your comfort level with removing pins. Although these pins are really easy to move because they're not knurled or anything like that, they're smooth. Um, it does take time and uh, you do have the um, risk of possibly losing the pin if you punch it out. Um, just work in a very nice work area like this where you can easily see silver. So looking at it from the side, you can see the differences. This one's a bit more curled. Um, and has distinct curls, this is kind of a smoother curl, and again, it's much, much thicker. But again, this looks more cohesive because it's, it's a new whole piece as opposed to this that just slides on. Looking at it from the inside here. The bottom. And the back. You can look at it at the top as well. Okay, so those, those are the major differences. Um, one of the things I had mentioned previously in my CGI review is it, at least mine. Um, let me try to focus in. Uh, it's not wanting to focus in. Well, basically um, the paint on, on my knuckles, these spikes, was not particularly clean. Um, but I, I've heard the quality has gone uh, up on these on, on this set. But with this, since you have the original factory um, part here, the paint job is obviously super clean. All right. So the plus and minuses are um, for the for the Professor Heisenberg set is that it's good price. Uh, it's about the same price as the, as uh, the CGI's. It's super easy to install. Anyone can install it. And it is a little, little bit more menacing because they are bigger and it has um, a thickened thumb as well. Some of the cons are just the lack of cohesiveness. You're gonna have, you're gonna still be able to see the original thumb and fingers when you look at it from the side. So if you don't like that, maybe high, uh, CGI set is for you. But if you don't want to deal with messing with pins and everything like that, this might be the set for you. Okay? So give me one second and I'll bring in Feral Rex. Oh, sorry guys, this is kind of getting flopped all over the place. All right, and let's bring the camera back to get the hands into frame. So as you would expect, the claws go on exactly how they would before, just split the legs of um, Tigris and Talon and peg them, peg them in to the inside. And you're done here. Same thing for the other side. Oops. There you go. And there we have them. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit more. And there's no interference with the pegs or anything like that. So you're still gonna be able to take Phil Rex's hand, kind of open up the palm and uh, peg it in without issue. And the claws wrap around it and everything's good. Alright so 
that's my review. Uh, I, I would say that it's definitely worth picking up one of the claw sets. Um, again, I, I've, I've given the pros and cons of both of them. So it's up to you at this point to make the decision on which one you want. Again, they're very similarly priced. Uh, it really is just about whether you want to remove pins or, or if you want the bigger, longer claws from uh, Heisenberg. So one last thing I wanted to show before we went on to the Royal Arsenal was I wanted to show that with the King's Claws installed, you can still store the fists um, in the, the foot for storage when not using in combined mode. So as usual, you just plugged in the front piece here. Oh, well, like your sister showed, you just really need to get the thumb positioned out of the way. Curl at the first knuckle first, and then curl the fingers down, like so. Plug that in here. Push that handle piece to the right. Move that down. And then peg it in. And you're done. So both fist stored in the, the feet without issue. Okay, sorry for that quick cut. So now we're back. Now we're going to move on to the weapons, um, the Royal Arsenal add-on weapons kit. And as you can see here, I have the entire Verocrons crew and their respective weapons in front of them. So aside from the these for Leo Ducks, all the rest are kind of interchangeable. They're all just universal 5mm pegs. Um, they all look slightly different, except these two, which are a match pair. Um, but they all look they all look very similar. So let's take a look at them one at a time. So this is Fortis's gun. Let's try to get this camera to focus. There we go. So you can see it's a, a blaster type. Has nice molded detail all throughout. Kind of looks um, very similar to Optimus's blaster. Come on, stay focused. There we go. So very similar to Optimus's gun. And you really just put it in the hand. And it's much easier than the guns that come with the crew with the weird hands that they have. And uh, with the weird um, grips that the original guns have. Speaking of which, I'll bring those out here as well. But um, one of the things that I, I want to mention is that I really would have liked if they did something a little bit more than just um, just black here. So if you look at the come on, stand focus. If you look at you know some of the weapons from the Feral Cons, they have. Um, Again, a nice amount of detail, but they're more of a gray and then also kind of a gunmetal silver color. And I, I like that um, contrast. So I'm, I was kind of hoping that the Professor Heisenberg's kit would also kind of match that aesthetic. So we'll get this out of the way. Go ahead and bring in Talon with his ginormous wings and his gun. Again, nice molded detail. And I don't know that any of them, again, really need to be with that, any of the others. They are slightly modeled differently, but overall, they all look very similar. And it's not like uh, any particular one really suits the other. Maybe this kind of long one kind of makes sense for the streamlined um, talon. Um, we'll go to Bovis next. Here's Bovis's gun. Let's 
Again, they can they can hold it very easily. You don't have to position them in and do all kinds of weird maneuvers to get them to fit in the hands like the original guns. Tigress and his gun. You're probably looking at all these one at a time and thinking they all look the same. And again, they look very similar. And I'll bring them out at the end after they're all installed so we can just do kind of some side-by-side -side comparisons. So the last set um, are these cannons for Leo Ducks. Again, they're a match set. And they're not um, guns where they have handles or anything like that. What these are for, you take Leo Ducks, who normally has his connector ports kind of positioned backwards, which I always did not like about um, this design. They're, they weren't hidden away like um, Ares, the TFC ones. So I thought that was a little lazy of them. But what these do are, are basically they have grooves on, on all four corners. Uh, very hard to see. Uh, all four um, positions like kind of north, south, east, west. And you basically just plug those in to the connector ports, and you have and you have options on how you want to display them. If you want to do something more like this with the spikes up, you can. Um, you can pull them. You can face them this way if you want to face them this way, and then also you can have them facing kind of forward to look like that. So a lot of different options. Um, they do turn on here as well, so you don't have to take them off. The tolerances are loose enough where you can just um, rotate them while on the connector port. Which is really nice. It's a nice balance of tolerances. I kind of like them like this. Let's back them up a bit. Kind of like them like this with more kind of antennae look. But it's really up to you. Again, you have options. Um, this is the this is the real only option for um, Leo Duck since it does need to connect to the connector ports. I guess I guess if you really wanted, you could probably do something with the feet as well. I'm not, I'm just thinking about that now. But I guess you could pull out the connector port down here. And have them connect and he could have like skis or something like that right on those which would be kind of silly um, they don't go on here or anywhere else really just the connector ports but with other figures with the uh, the other guns since they are standard five millimeter ports um, you can use them in the other holes that they have so you know with with Bovis you can take them out. Um, if you have the new arm pieces that came with Tigris, you can plug them in there or you can plug them on the outside here in either mode. Obviously, you can um, plug them into the arms here or the sides of the leg cannons here. And again, that would work in alt mode as well. But they look pretty nice. Again, I do wish that they were, uh, they did have more detail. If they had some amount of painted detail, I think that would be nice. So let's go ahead and bring these in so we can do kind of a side by side comparison of them all. make the most sense to do it that way maybe maybe this way makes the most sense so you can see all all the differences so it's the four guns that are the ones that look very similar um, but also different 
So you can see some of them have like longer, longer barrels and some have shorter barrels, some have thinner, some have some different molded detail. Um, but again, they all kind of have the same aesthetic to them, which is nice. But again, I, I, I would like them to have some color like the original guns. Um, one of the other things is the handles are long, which is nice. They're nice and long. Uh, they might be a little too long, especially if you want to display them in other ports besides the hands. Like if you wanted to display them on the side here because um, the, the peg holes for the ferrule cons are actually quite shallow. You can actually see it sticks out quite a bit. So if you were to use them in any other fashion but besides as guns, um, they're probably going to stick out um, a lot. And, and that's not a deal breaker. I mean, they're, they're supposed to be blasters, not really um, attachments. And I really didn't, I really never understood the need or massive desire for a lot of people to have um, storage mode in alt mode. Storage for weapons in alt mode that never really were supposed to be stored in alt mode. Um, that they weren't in a cartoon or anything like that. So I don't mind these just being what they are. Um, I do like them. Uh, I think the price is pretty good on them as well. So I think they're worth, they're probably worth picking up. They do round out the, the weaponry um, a bit more and they're a bit bulkier than just the guns. So most, uh, most of the Feral Khans just have these, you know, handguns. Aside from, um, I think Fortis, these are Fortises that are kind of the cannons that plug into the, to, to his arms. And of course, Leo Dux's cannon, which came with Tigris. And then the sniper rifle with Talon. So if you want to, the your Feral Khans to be more artilleried out, um, have something a bit beefier than the than handguns, then it might be worth picking these guys up. The, uh, the plastic quality is quite solid on them. Um, I don't have any fear of any of the, like, the pegs breaking or anything like that. They're really, really solid. And they do match the color, the black colors of the original Ferrocons really well. So you're not going to have some of that slight color difference. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring in the claws one last time. Get these out of the way. And we'll show these off again. Again, this time I'm not lining them up with whose weapons they are, but this is what you get with the set. The two different sets. You get the claws for both hands. You get four guns and two cannons. But if you like this set, um, one of these sets and want to pick one up, why don't you click on the link below uh, and pick go to toydojo.com. They have both of these for pre-order. These should be out. These are the final um, molds and colors and everything like that. This is essentially the final product run. It's not a test shot or anything like that. Uh, and they should be shipping pretty shortly. I think they're supposed to be due out uh, this month or at least very early in October. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section and I'll try to answer those. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. Um, and also, if you like what I'm doing, as always, um, give me a, a quick subscribe so you can see all the videos that I do. Uh, I'm doing more and more. Um, Toy Dojo um, has been really nice and working with me to get me uh, test shots like this and the Bulls Fire um, final colored test shot that I posted the other day. And well, the more likes and subscriptions I get, uh, the more I can get access to more figures, quicker, um, quicker access to figures, as well as possibly um, you know run some more competitions or prizes like I did before, or contests, not competitions, contests as I've done before because I really want to do that. But to do that, I, I really do need your support. 
Um, again, just give me a like, some comments, and subscriptions, and I'll do more and more to get you guys happy. All right. So again, thanks Toy Dojo, thanks Professor Heisenberg, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.